Now we come to the Charles Gibbs Fracture Zone, north of the Azores. It's not named after scientists, but a weather station and a ship. It's where the Mid-Atlantic Trench is cut by two very deep rift valleys lying two and a half miles beneath the surface. They cut a massive thousand mile scar east to west across the trench. And there through the port we spot a wonky or cockeyed squid near the bottommost range of its depth. It has one massive eye and one small one. Large eyes allow it to detect prey from a long way above. But there's not room for two in its head. This journey down the Atlantic Trench would normally take at least two months. Miles and miles of canyon heading southwards to the Azores. Even so, we're going to take a little detour towards Newfoundland on the trail of the world's most famous wreck.